Hi there. Welcome to the Clicksense Trading Course. Today I'll give a brief overview on the Clicksense product and its unique capabilities and we'll take a sneak peek on that. What is Clicksense? Imagine an analytics tool that's so intuitive anyone in your company could easily create personalized reports and dynamic dashboards to explore vast amounts of data and finding meaningful insights. So that's analytics tool is Clicksense. It's a revolutionary self-service data visualization and discovery application designed for individuals, groups and organizations. With Clicksense, everyone in your organization can easily create flexible interactive visualizations and make meaningful decisions. So what is it unique capability? So using Clicksense, you can make a stunning data discoveries and explore simple and complex data to find the hidden data relationships you didn't know you could find it. So let's look at some of the unique capabilities. So one is the smart visualizations, reveal hidden insights, smart search uh, capability that gives you ultimate flexibility. You can explore multiple data sources in a single app. There is a rich data storytelling, helps you collaborate and share insights. There is an extendable capabilities using KPIs. And you have an infographics using extensions. And it's very easy to use and it's in memory solution and it has direct discovery too. And it is associative engine. So there is a smart visualization so it has a pretty rich and good looking visualizations. And there are smart search. Uh, the search capability allows you to search all, all the data within your uh, dashboard. And you can explore the multiple data sources. You can connect to any number of data sources. Uh, uh, write it via Big Data or SQL Server Wacko or Sybase or whatever the data source that you wanted to connect. You can connect in a single app as well. And you can have a rich data storytelling capability where you can uh, create your own story and you can share it with others and you can collaborate on the story. And there is an extendable capability using KPIs. You can customize the clicks and spread as the way you like and for the your enterprise needs using APIs. And you, if you want to bring another infographics or D3 visualizations, you can do that using uh, extensions. And it's pretty easy to use tool. And uh, it is an in-memory solution. So everything, the data is cached. So that gives you a flexibility and it will answer your questions. Uh, with a faster response. The response time is pretty lower and user experience will be uh, will be very good in that case. And you have a direct discovery uh, feature also where you can instead of in-memory you can also go and fetch the data from the database on time. And uh, we have the associative engine click sense. So this offers uh, everything this data is connected. So this is not a predefined or pre-joined data. So this will give you a uh, feature where you can uh, build the hidden stories with the newer data. So let's look at the next slide. Sneak peek of Clicksense product. In this topic, let's go over the Clicksense product and see what are the capabilities that he has. Let's go into the Clicksense product. So I'm going to the hub in the browser. I'm closing this data box. Let's choose any uh, dashboard that you like. And in this case, I'm choosing the Zero dashboard. So there you can see the Zero dashboard, and you have uh, the dashboard image that you want to edit it. You can edit it here using this, and you can write the description that you like. And there are three sections here: the sheets, bookmarks, and stories. The sheets gives you the different sheets that you created. And if you want, if you do any bookmarks, it will give you the bookmarks. And you can create your own story also using this dashboard. So let's go into the sheets. I'm going to the first one is KPI dashboard. So here you can identify the KPIs. Uh, you can see the expenses for this target, where they stand, revenue versus last year revenue, and account receivable overdue. That's the percentage. And you have some pie charts and donut charts saying that expenses per account. Revenue by products, amount of value by customers. You can see the expenses trend, revenue trend, and year trend. So unlike in other products, in ClickSense you have an ability to explore. So there you can see the explore menu. The explore does gives you the flexibility to, uh, to uh, explore more on this particular visualization. Let's say if you want to explore this uh, this particular object, I'm just gonna click on it. So it's gonna expand it. 
so this has a different feature where you can choose the presentation you like let's say I don't want to donate I want to see it as a pie so I can see it as a pie and you want to see it as a uh, share instead of values so you can see the values are changing here right and if you want to show them you just send none switch to the different way and you can say apply apply the changes and if you want to further explore or you want to change the sorting the order you can do the sorting order just drag and drop everything here is click away apply the changes once your exploration you're going to close this so this has a beautiful search capability also there's a smart search that we have so you can click on it and you can search for the data say sales so if you say start typing it will search you know all the fields that you have it in your dashboard it will also give you suggestions whether you want to search for salaries or or the particular words that you want to search so let's say if you select particular customer based on your search the data will filter everything on the particular search so this is a smart search capability that Clayson's has and you can clear the selections using this clear all selections and whatever you select on your uh, uh, the objects it's gonna select only the particular ones so once your selection is done confirm the selection and it's gonna the, everything else is filtered based on that your selection you can clear your selection using this way I'm going to the next sheet you can traverse between the sheets using this arrow mouse so you can have a filters you can select a particular alternatives these are all the filters and list boxes that we have you can confirm the selection you can see the particular alternate segment description you can see how that uh, revenue is doing and average sales per day and the sales versus margin with sales rep so clear the selections you can also select using the shift and you can make a selection as the way you like and you can confirm the selection and you can see how the Salesforce margin is doing and margin target is how much and how who are past the margin target you can find it out easily so there is an additional capability you can hold search and you can just type you can just drag and write the way you like this will also will select the particular area that you are interested in and you can see how the sales are doing isn't that So this is a different way of exploring in ClickSense and the similar way you can also do an exploration here if you want to analyze this particular thing and you can also change the colors and trends uh, right now it is by dimension like a heat map it is doing right now right so if you want to change it by dimension then everything will be have a single different colors if you just want to have a single color you can have that as well and you can also change the presentation to instead of horizontal you can have them as a vertical and you can change the sort also the way you like so you want to see the revenue in ascending order or descending order and these are the dimensional measures we have either you can apply or cancel or changes just after your exploration so the next thing you can go to the next sheets this way this is a tree map that you see on the left this is the revenue by sales app right you see the sales versus margin amount over due by DS versus ds4 average sales per day versus air average balance the other scattered loss that we have and the table on the right hand side the cva sales force. so you can make a selection on particular let's say you want to see the how the restaurants are doing just click on restaurant and kps so just confirm your selection and this is going to give you the sales versus margin on that and the particular product and sales so you can further drill down and select particular uh, the sales rep in this case is Ken Roberts when you click on sales rep you can see the how sales, uh, Ken Roberts is doing the sales and sales motion so you can also select on a particular product as well so these are the different ways of exploration so let's see if I wanted to create a story out of it right so so I identified that 
um, these are all the revenue web products so I want to tell a story out of it so how do I create a story in ClickSense so you have an option um, you can see once you mouse over you will get an option like take a snapshot the exploration we already have seen it and this is for the full screen where you can analyze further so if you want to take a snapshot you can take a snapshot of this let's say I take the snapshot so like this and the revenue trend I'm taking a snapshot as well okay so now now I can start creating the story so there is a story menu on the top so you can write your own story so in this case I'm calling it as test so you can click on the test story so where you can right hand side you can see the snapshot library text objects and the effects a shape library and the effects library and the media objects so since I already taken the snapshots you can click on this and just pull on this uh, the particular chart object and I have one more snapshot I've taken revenue with trend so I can take that as well so if I want to highlight something I can also use the effects library I want to highlight the highest value here just drag and drop so it's going to highlight and show the others one is the highlight here so this is a chart and now I have a flexibility to uh, export this story into PowerPoint or a PDF let's export this story into the PowerPoint so you can choose the standard size just click on export so this way you can build your own stories and you can uh, bring it as a PowerPoint so you can share it with others. So this way you can collaborate and uh, it's pretty easy, right? So you can build a story within a few minutes. Let's download it. You can just click on this link. And that's going to download your PPT. You can just click on it. So you can see the, the PowerPoint and better. So this is pretty much and you can easily create your stories using the ClickSense product. So let's go back. So once you are done with your story you can save it. And you can use this option go to the app overview. So these are the new story that we have created. And you can also add the text the way you like. And you can also add an image to the story. And creating a bookmark you can click on the create new bookmarks using this icon so before clicking creating a bookmark let's choose some selections so I'm selecting this I'm interested in this period so now I can create a bookmark so using this test so let's see, even after you make clear all your selections can just go and select the particular test bookmark and you're back to your bookmark selections so there are the different uh, capabilities that the end user will experience thank you very much